What is process affinity? The term process affinity is made up of two words, processor and affinity. Let's look at the words individually. The word processor means a machine that processes something. In computing context, a processor is a CPU. And the word affinity means a natural liking for an understanding of someone or something. If you combine the meaning of these two words, we can define process affinity as natural liking by a process for a specific CPU or CPUs. Without the process affinity, the processes or traits or task can be assigned to any CPU as seen fit by the scheduler. There's no guarantee that the processes from the same application will be assigned to the same CPU or the CPUs. But with the process affinity configured, processes are tagged with the processor so that they get executed by the same CPUs. As in a way we are pinning the CPU, it's also called as CPU pinning. But why would we want to use the same CPU for the similar processes? And why doesn't the scheduler do this in the first place? Let's take the second question first. The scheduler doesn't assign similar processes to the same CPU because this can cause some processor to be overloaded while having the other processor sitting idle. The job of a scheduler is to balance the load and keep all the CPU busy. With that being said, let's try to answer then why would we consider to use the processor affinity? Okay, let's start from the beginning. At any given time, there can be several processes or threads waiting for the CPU. The number of CPU is limited and they have limited size of memory. For each process, some data is required which is stored in the memory. The high speed memory of a CPU is called cache. Given the limited size of a cache, the data needs to be continuously overwritten to store the new data as required by the current process being executed by the CPU. Now, our CPU is smart. It doesn't go wiping all the associated data once the process is completed. Thus, if the following process needs to work on the same set of data, it doesn't have to go and fetch the same data again in the memory. When the required data is already present in the cache, we call it a cache hit. But if similar processes are assigned to different CPUs, then all those CPUs need to fetch the same data in their cache. Also, if CPUs are assigned to the processes randomly, then it may happen that in between the execution of two similar processes, the CPU executes another bunch of non-related processes. This can leave the data fetched in the first time to be overwritten in the meantime. And the second time the similar process gets assigned, the data needs to be fetched again. This we call a cache miss. In that case, we need to fetch the data again from the disk. By reducing the cache miss, that is, allowing the process to be executed by the same CPU or CPUs, the performance can be improved. Hence, we may want to configure some processes with process affinity. Now, it doesn't mean that if you choose process affinity, the processes will always be executed by the same CPU. In a certain situation, when the CPU is overloaded, they might get assigned to the idle or less loaded CPUs to improve the performance. The process affinity is also called as cache affinity as in a way with the CPU, the cache also gets pinned to the processes. So let's try to summarize the process affinity by checking how the Wikipedia defines it. It reads, Process affinity or CPU pinning or cache affinity enables the binding and unbinding of a process or a thread to a central processing unit or range of CPUs so that the process or a thread will execute only on designated CPU or CPUs rather than any CPU. Or you can simply remember process affinity as natural liking by a process for a specific CPU or CPUs. Thank you for listening.